Hello peeps and welcome back to OnLink. Alright, so let's see what we're doing here. Um, as I said in the last episode, let me pause real quick so I can talk. As I said during the last episode, I ran across a snag. I spent the original episode 5 scouring bank accounts looking for one good hackable bank account and I could not find one. So eventually, out of desperation, I decided to see if I was going to waste my time. I opened the Save Games database, looked through the bank balances. I didn't write anything down, I didn't take any notes, nothing like that. I just looked at the numbers to see if any of them were worthwhile, and there wasn't a single bank with more than 15,000 in it. Now, due to the way OnLink ramps up, it, it technically, theoretically, it is possible to make it through the game without a bank hack. However, it's highly unlikely, and if it, if it is possible, it's going to take a long, long time for some of these missions. I don't have a long time. I don't cut my videos. I don't cut out dead time. So, I don't have a long time. I want to be able to do more than one mission per episode. So, I scrapped the game. I blasted my way through the early game again. And I got myself to a situation where I think we're going to be in good shape. As you can see over my mission list, I have two trace of balance transfer missions. These are almost always bank, are almost always good bank accounts. But I have a few more that I have now that I want to show you guys because the game throws some snags at you with some of these missions and I kind of want to cover the snags. First of all, what I've done. I don't have an auxiliary gateway yet. I didn't buy an auxiliary gateway. I did, however, upgrade my main gateway with a 200 gigahertz processor and with 32 gigs of RAM and in that 32 gigs of RAM I have bought all of the killers so I have every single killer available I also have only one gigawatt of memory available so that's not optimal now I have fine financial details on an associate Two, trace of balance transfer. One, skilled agent required to free fellow agent. And three, find and destroy data. Four, find and destroy data. Now, we're going to do the skilled agent required to free fellow agent first. Part of the way that this game becomes theoretically possible without a bank hack is through skilled agent required to free fellow agent. If you can somehow manage to get your hands on the names of, of uplink agents and you go to the GCD and you get those agents thrown in prison, sometimes uplink will throw a mission your way to get them out. And I don't know what the exact criteria is, but I think it's based on... I think it's based on their... Rank? I don't know. Okay, uh, this could be interesting. I don't have my... First of all, let's get Trace Tracker up. Put it back where I like it. I don't have my phone with me, so hopefully the VD pin is... The VD pin's not easy. Oh. Well. Why wasn't I being traced? Maybe because I didn't actually log in? I don't know. Um... I suck at this. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I suck at this. At least I'm not being traced.
but if you don't have if you suck at it like I do and you don't have the software to break it you can do what I'm doing and just keep trying until you get it right damn it I really need to figure out how to solve it from one Because I can reliably get it to one. So what I should do is I should actually spend the time to learn VD pin and be able to do this without a helper program. See, I can get it back to one. back down to one. I'm going to spend this entire episode trying to crack this damn VD pen. Back to one. Back to one again. Ah, got it. Okay, so that took a lot longer than it needed to. I'm going to need to kill the proxy. I don't think there's a bandwidth monitor on here, but I'm going to kill it anyway, just to save. I'm almost embarrassed at how long it took me to break VD pin. I really need to learn how to do that without my helper program. Because it's a fairly common system, too. Okay, there's definitely a bandwidth monitor in the way, because my password breaker's not doing anything. Meanwhile, let's, take, let's find out which agent we're freeing. Daisy Bernard. Daisy Bernard. Notice when the bandwidth monitor died, the password breaker immediately started working. This is my work. I just got her arrested. Yeah, that was my work. In my setup, I had a help stop a hacker from, or not, I had elite agent required for removal job and she was my victim
Okay. There's that. Let's go ahead and disconnect from Internic. And we'll go watch the news. Yeah, see if we take a look here. Uh, High-ranked uplink agent arrested. Daisy Bernard was just arrested not terribly long ago. So we'll fast forward for three hours. High-ranked uplink agent free again. Released by be released from jail by federal agents after being falsely accused. She was thought to be a well-known player in the underground hacker scene. I believe she was a full-time freelance hacker working for several organized groups, including Uplink, where he, she, he, okay, where it went by the hacker alias of Canada. Suspected the woman of multiple computer crimes, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, Uplink, your agent is free. Pay me. Back up to 18k. Good. <clears throat> I like that much better. Alright. Um, financial data, we've done that before. Let's do find and destroy crucial data on a mainframe. This requires us to attack terminal developments internal services. Okay? So, let's find it on the map. Forget you saw that. So, terminal services, internal services, or terminal developments, internal services. We'll load our bounce path and go there. <coughs> and we will go ahead and kill any bandwidth monitor that might be in our way. We'll kill any proxy that might be in our way. We'll start cracking the admin. Oh, don't need bandwidth monitor uh, killer. Okay, it wants us to kill the file 57136, but, oh, we're denied access by firewall. Okay, well, I'll just wait for the proxy and I'll kill the proxy. Or I'll kill the firewall in the sentry from there. We just have to wait for the proxy killer to be done. Boosting the CPU on this doesn't actually do anything, I just do it out of habit. And those of you who are sharp-eyed among the viewers might have noticed something about this hack already. Besides the fact that I already have a machine on my internet list that's named Backup Server. Okay, so that's gone. Let's go to the file server and delete the file. It's not here. 57.136 is not here. It's because I already deleted it. If I reply... Mission not completed. According to our sources, the file has not yet been deleted. Have you checked all of the system's backups? There's a backup server in play. We view the links. We can get the link to the backup server right here. Okay. We'll disconnect. We'll wipe our logs. There we go. And we'll disconnect from here. We have the backup server in here already. I've already tagged it. And it's right there. We'll load. Connect to the backup server. And connect. We run our password cracker. And holy crap. Immediate access. And hey look, there's the file. Let's delete it. Denied access by firewall. So, let's back out and get to the security console. Wait a second, this isn't an internal services machine. You can't do that. You have to actually kill the firewall. Now, this kill runs fast. And I'm also going to want to kill any sentry that's in the way. 
<clears throat> because if you have a sentry in the way, what sentries do is they make it look like you've done what you're supposed to do. It doesn't give you a message saying denied access. It makes it look like it did what it said it was supposed to do, but it doesn't actually do it. It kind of fakes you out. So, I'm willing to bet that if the internal services machine has a sentry, this probably does too. So, that's done. Wipe out that file. Now if we reply to this mission, it should be done. Yes, now it's done. Congratulations, our rating is experienced. We can disconnect and wipe logs. There we go. That's how you do that particular type of kill mission. Uh, financial data on associates. We've done these before. I'll save this for the end of the episode. We'll do a couple more delete missions real quick. Find and destroy crucial data on a mainframe. Now, it's not actually a mainframe. It's an internal services machine, but it's Excel computers. So, let's find Excel. Excel computers internal services machine. Which happens to be up there. We'll connect via our long connection. Break the password. Proceed. Let's go to admin and view their security. They have a firewall and a sentry and a proxy in place, so we gotta kill the proxy. This is why I want the better software because I have to sit here every time I do a hack and wait for these killers to run. They're not the slowest thing in the world, but if I had some of the better software, I would already be done with this hack. At least in this computer. <clears throat> I wouldn't have the backup down quite yet, but with the better software, this goes so much faster. Unfortunately, I don't have the room for the better software at the moment. Nor can I afford it. Nor can I actually run it on my system while anything else is running, because I don't have enough RAM. And all of those things require money to fix. Okay, proxy's dead, firewall's dead, sentry's dead. File server. Well, I guess it's pretty obvious which one they want us to kill. Delete that. View links. Find their backup server. It's right there. Disconnect. Uh, it's right there. Break the password. Kill firewall. Kill sentry. <clears throat> I don't know if there's a proxy in place here or not. We'll know when I try to delete it. waiting for the sentry killer to finish, because if I try to delete it and the sen there is a sentry here, it'll look like it's deleted, but then I it won't be and I'll have to come back and delete it again anyway, so. Okay, done there. Disconnect. Wipe logs.
<clears throat> okay. Now, I'm sure you're all waiting for me to try these. Let's do it. I think it's time to make some serious money. <clears throat> We're going to Sim Associates International. Which is right there. Okay. We need to manage an existing account. We're going to manage account number 6131279. Kill proxy. Kill bandwidth monitor. Killers have been detected, so we'll start trying to crack. As soon as the bandwidth killer is done, the password breaker will start running. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> <clears throat> so, I guess running the bandwidth monitor during a hack with a... Or running the password cracker with a bandwidth monitor up isn't such a good idea after all, huh? Okay, well... They're probably going to detect me immediately. Yep. So we'll start the killers. And instead of being an idiot, this time we'll actually wait for the killers to be done. Okay, killers are done. Okay, we view his statement. He transferred a million bucks. That million bucks went to IP 9101229250 to account number 3548564. He currently has $1,852 left, so we'll disconnect, clean logs, okay, now, we pull up our list of banks, we'll see that it is at Broad Technology International. Now, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to pre-hack Uplink International Bank. Now, I can't remember if there's firewalls or anything like that in place at Uplink International, though. That's, that's a concern. That is definitely a concern. Well, here's what I'll do. I have one giga quad of stores left. 
IP Pro. Oh crap, IP Pro takes three. Well, I could delete one of my killers. Encryption is the least useful at the moment, so. And I know I could copy this onto. You know what? I'm actually going to do that. I don't want to lose the money. If we connect to Internet, someone pointed this out to me. The uplink test machine is in Internet. It's right there. Username and password are always the same. <clears throat> hmm. It's always admin Rosebud. No, 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 I don't want to copy, I don't want to download it. Or I want to delete it. <clears throat> so we'll delete those. Now, out of our databanks, we'll copy our encryption killer. Paste it in there. And that's all I should need at the moment, so we will delete Encryption Killer from my system. We'll disconnect. There's no penalty for getting caught hacking Uplink's test machine, so you don't have to worry about deleting your logs on that immediately. Software Market, we're gonna buy. We're just gonna buy IP Probe. <clears throat> All I need to know is what types of so, uh, what types of security are in use. I don't need to know their levels. Bank. Let's probe Uplink International. Come on. Uplink International reports proxy, monitor, and bandwidth monitor. So, don't have to worry about that. And broad technology. Broad technology reports the same. Good. An abundance of caution is never a bad thing. I'm going to pre-hack Uplink International Bank. Not the public access server. We need to connect to the international bank, not the access server. Oh, I forgot to double click, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. We are going to... How much money do I have? Not enough. We're going to proxy kill and bandwidth monitor kill. This is going to be detected. I'm not actually going to go into my account yet. All I'm doing here is setting the stage. As soon as these killers are done, Okay, the proxy's offline. The bandwidth monitor, which is actually completely unnecessary, is offline. I'm going to disconnect. Go to internet. Wipe logs. Good. I'm going to go to broad technology. Kill proxy. Kill bandwidth monitor. Manage existing account. 
354-8564. I'm being traced. Proxies down. Bandwidth monitor is down. Password break. View the accounts. 100-3717. Also, we know it's maximal mark. So we'll finish the mission. Mission completed. Okay, now we're going to go back out to here. We're going to transfer money. This is what got, a, got us caught last time, so cross your fingers. We are transferring to bank IP 58174251142. Account number 137. 6993. Amount 1003717. Prepare the log deleter and transfer. Transfer was completed successfully. View statement. Delete you. Delete you. Close account. Close. Disconnect. Load bounce path. Uplink International Bank. Manage existing account. My own. View statement. Kill. Disconnect. Internic. Admin. Logs. Kill. 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 That should be a successful bank hack. The only way to know for sure is to wait. If I get disavowed, then we got problems. As you can see, I have a lot of money on my account. I just got an email. Congratulations, your rating is now professional. Normally, if you get that, it means you got away with it. Let's go on a spending spree. I think we need a new gateway. Let's get the Trinity 1686A. Eight RAM slots, or eight CPUs, three RAM slots, 128 gigs of memory, plenty of security, lots of bandwidth. Let's get that. Let's also go ahead and get our Amcor file server as our auxiliary gateway. Two hundred fifty-six gigs of memory. Oh yeah, I think that's good. Okay, I have an auxiliary gateway. <clears throat> Let's close that, go back to the software market. I need a HUD administration panel. That gives me the ability to view my gateways. So, if I go to gateway setup and I view status screens, and we'll, put, we'll want to put next update on there too. Oh, we need data bank there too. We'll see. File deleter, file copier, and tutorial. Let's go ahead and wipe all that crap off of there. Okay. <clears throat> Let's view our gateway. 
Uh, that is... Yep, that's the one. So, how many of these slots do we have to play with? 8, 16, 32... I, I, Becca yelled 42 from the other room, and it threw me off. 8, 16, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 memory slots. So let's go to the hardware market and let's buy 29 memory slots. Uh, that is a 16. Let's see. Yeah, 16. Basic math is failing me. So 16, 12, and a 1. How are we doing for money? Still have $636,000. Awesome. Yeah, so do I. Okay. Let's go ahead and fast forward. And we're waiting for emails. Gateway upgrade. Now preparing my new gateway computer will take 24 hours at which point we'll notify you to disconnect and reconnect. Delete. Gateway upgrades are commencing. And complete. We take a look at our gateway now. Completely full of memory chips. Nice. Okay. Take a look at our databank. We've got 256 gig of memory there to play with. Let's fast forward a little more. New gateway is ready. We'll go ahead and delete this. And in order to connect to our in order to connect to our new gateway, all we gotta do is log out and log back in. Congratulations, you are using your new gateway and your old one is already being dismantled. We go back to our status screens and click those into the primary gateway. We'll see all of our memory is the same, but if we take a look at our gateway, oh yeah, we're in good shape. Now, let's go ahead and trick this out. This one, we can fit 12 more RAM, uh, 12 more RAM chips. So I get the 12 by 8 gigaquad upgrade. Uh, RAM. How many RAM chips do we have on this baby? One, two, three. Let's buy three of the best RAM chips money can buy. Modem. This can take up to an 8 gigaquad modem. So, let's go ahead and buy that. Security. We have room for security on this one. We actually have room for, looks like, three security systems. So we're going to get Gateway Self-Destruct and Gateway Motion Sensor. I'm pretty sure I could actually get the wireless router too, but I don't need it right now, and I'm down to 466,000. And there's stuff I want. So, let's get that stuff that I want. This is in the software market. We want HUD Connection Analysis. We're also going to want to start picking up the bypassers. We can get up to version 5 of bandwidth monitor bypass. So we'll purchase that. Um, that means we can copy our bandwidth monitor killer. And we'll switch our uh, data bank to the secondary. And then pull this up and we'll paste our bandwidth killer in there. Switch it back to that, and we can now delete the bandwidth killer from here. Good. We're going to want encryption bypass. Version 5 of that. Firewall bypass. 
version 5 of that. Monitor bypass. Version 5 of that. And uh, proxy bypass. Version 5 of that. Still leaves us 355,000. Oh, we also need sentry. Sentry bypass. Purchase. There we go. All of our bypassers are now here. This means I can copy my killers. I'm going to save the killers, just in case. Firewall. Not CPU power. Data bank. Thank you. Sentry. And then eventually I'll go back and I'll get my encryption. We can switch back to our primary bank. And we can now delete all of the killers from here. Good. Saves us a little memory. We take a look at the administration panel. If we go to RAM management, I've got 16 total. I have two available. My connection manager is currently running. I could actually turn that off and get the RAM back. Not enough RAM to enable HUD plugin. <laughs> okay, well, I guess now I do have to wait on. All right, I just looked at my time and I'm at 42 minutes. So what I'm gonna do for right now is I'm just gonna fast forward a little. Gateway upgrades commencing. Gateway upgrades complete. Now if I look at my administration panel, I have 384 gig of total RAM. RAM is no longer a problem for me. But that is where I'm going to call the episode for the moment. So, Next episode, we're going to go on the rest of our spending spree, and then we're going to start hitting up some other stuff. So, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys have learned something from this and found it at least somewhat entertaining. And uh, episode 6 will be rolling around fairly shortly. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you later, peeps.